I request Mr. Kapil Sibal, President, Supreme Court Bar Association, to kindly address the gathering. Good evening, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Honorable Justice Hema Kohli, distinguished judges of the Supreme Court of India, a judge from uh, Telangana High Court, uh, Attorney General for India, Vice President of the Supreme Court Bar Association, Secretary Vikrant Yadav of the Bar Association, members of the Executive Committee of the Bar Association, senior advocates, uh, young lawyers, uh, and friends. And I was listening to both these speeches and I was wondering, what am I to say? The entire career, both at the bar and the bench, has already been stated. So let me move on to something else and get away from my speech. Justice Hima Kohli is the ninth woman judge in the Supreme Court of India. We should ask ourselves, we should ask ourselves the question, how is it that after almost 75 years since India's independence, there are only nine women judges in the Supreme Court? That tells you something about the male mindset in this country. It tells you something about our legal system. It tells you something about the nature of our profession. It also allows you to reflect as to how we carve the future of our country, especially in the legal profession. It's not easy to become a judge of the Supreme Court in the context of the travails and tribulations that a woman has to face as he makes her way to the bar and to the bench. And a woman who has carved her own career, chartered her own course in life. This is something that is phenomenal. There are very few who are able to do that. As I watch, uh, just it was Justice Hema Kohli in the Supreme Court, I was also told that she was the head girl of St. Thomas School when she was in school. Now, I realized why she was the head girl. <laughs> well, while she presides over the bench, she has that authoritative mark that allows you to say what you want, and she decisively tells you what she wants. And that's how it goes in court. Well, why is it, and let's go back to this question, that we don't have enough women judges? Today, of course, the nature of the legal system has changed in the sense that now we have, ever since the law schools, national law schools were established, there are lots of women judges, uh, women uh, students who are going and getting degrees in law, and many of them get absorbed in very many law firms and doing a lot of commercial work. Now, if you really look at the Supreme Court, there are very fine lady lawyers in our court. And yet, if you really notice, none of them is doing litigation in relation to business matters. That also should tell you something. That whereas you have a lot of lady advocates who are in law firms who deal with complex business issues, when it comes to litigation, women lawyers are not briefed in matters relating to women, and judges who are sitting here decide, while they are in the Supreme Court, decide complex questions in relation to business, and it's a phenomenal job that they do. So I request the Chief Justice of India to look at law firms and women who have, who are aware of the complexities of the business community. If Indians, Indian women can become CEOs of Pepsi and, and, and run banks in India, and, and, and lead commercial organization in India, why should not women lawyers who are working in law firms dealing with complex legal issues not be absorbed and brought to the judiciary so that they can be appointed in different high courts? I also request the Chief Justice of India to look at some of our lady lawyers who are practicing in this court and doing a phenomenal practice. Now, they should be picked up and actually moved to various high courts around the country. You've done it with male lawyers. 
You should also do it with women lawyers. And I think this is something that we should collectively, this is something that you should collectively look at. Because ultimately, if you give responsibility, and you know that our women are able to discharge any kind of responsibility, including responsibility of the highest position in the country, President, Prime Minister of India, why not judges of the Supreme Court and why not more judges in the High Court? And I think this, this ratio must change. And I have a little poem which I'm going to give to her at the end of this, which I've written for you, Justice Kohli, uh, to tell you as to what your journey has been in this court. I can only say that it's been phenomenal. And the most important characteristic of a judge, and there are essential traits of a judge, and I will, this is what I feel, are clear and forward thinking vision, which you had, which a lot of our judges have, a firm grasp of practical realities, steadfast ethical principles, and the bravery to act on them. If our judges were to actually each of them have these four essential traits. I think our judicial system will bloom to another level altogether. And I think that the problem in our country is that beti padhao to theek hai, but bete padhao ki bhi bahut zarurat hai. They need to be told the importance and the significance of a woman's role in the family, the importance of women to allow them the freedom to move forward in any profession that they want to embrace. And Justice Kohli's career is symptomatic of what women judges can do in this country. I won't say anything more because everything about you has already been said. So I just didn't want to repeat what I had written in this speech. So therefore I moved away. But let me give, uh, give me this opportunity to present you with what I brought for you and give me the privilege to read it to the Honorable Judges of this court. Thank you. Justice Hima Kohli, a glorious journey. Crisp, upfront, within the law, beyond contours, won't furrow far. When convinced law must prevail, will not mince words, there hangs a tale. A heart of gold, razor sharp mind, your judge like ways were never blind. Willing to hear ruminate, if cocking a snook, will seal their fate. Law and equity find a place when in conflict each has its day. What was once a male preserve, their dominance a falling curve. There'll come a day, I hope it's soon, with more of you this court will bloom. Patience, a woman's creed, understanding judges is what we need. As we say goodbye, never forget you left behind in memory's nest, the candor and your courteous ways, your stint throughout was full of grace. We, we wish you well, we wish you well for years to come. You worked real hard, now have some fun. <laughs>